Hi, my name is Mike Cargan, the Horn Doctor. I'm the president and founder of BAC Musical Instruments in the historic Jazz District of Kansas City. One thing to consider is a musical instrument requires a lot of parts. Whether big or small, even the smallest things matter. Let's go check out what Vinny's working on today. Uh, hi there, my name is Vinny Jaconia. I'm a recent graduate of the Band Instrument Repair Program in Red Wing, Minnesota, and I uh, moved here from Nashville, Tennessee. The process we'll be talking about today is uh, the process of making a water key screw for a trumpet, and we'll be doing that on our old hardened turret lathe. Uh, so the first thing we do is add a knurl to it, which gives it that, that ridge around the head of the screw. A uh, knurl is it's uh, kind of a ridged pattern that's just cut into the brass. It's that uh, the ridges that you get on the head of a screw, also like on uh, on dimes, there's those ridges along the side that's called a knurl. We've got our knurl added in there. I'm going to shift over in this other tool here so we can cut it down to the right size. I'm going to shift back up into high gear, add a little bit of cutting oil to that part. right size. Next thing we're going to do is use this die to cut some threads in there so it'll hold on to the screw there. Alright, we'll do that by hand. Just gonna check here to make sure we've got the right length. Alright, when we're at the right length, I'm going to just hit it in the reverse to get the tap off or the die off there as fast as I can. There we go. Now we've got our screw made, but it's still on the stock of brass, so I'm just going to use a part-off tool to cut it off here. And there we've got our almost finished water key screw. The only thing left to do is sand off this little nub there, and it will be ready to go on a horn. This whole process is to make one screw? One screw, yeah. The people that I have uh, have been working with here at BAC have been really amazing and, and welcoming since I started working here. Uh, it's really humbling to be working with such incredible craftsmen. Uh, and I, of course, work most closely with John, so I'm learning a lot from John as well. I have goofed several things up since I started working here. Um, is that bad? No. Okay. No, it's fine. Okay. Getting to see the final product of these horns uh, going out of the shop um, is a really unique experience for me because um, I've always known uh, how great BAC horns are and I've always liked them very much, but being here and actually making the parts for them, it really changes the way that I've been looking at it uh, because now I'm making all these small parts that are then being assembled and it really is, it's changed my perspective in a, in a really unique way. Alright, so that's it to close off this little episode. Thanks for tuning in and seeing what we do here at BAC Musical Answer. Tune in next time.